we mean? <laughs> sort of peer appropriate response to throw sand at each other. <laughs> you can't understand me at all. But you usually need more walnuts, that's why. That's your problem. You don't need enough nuts. <laughs> it's basic communication, isn't it? Let's talk about it on another level. It is basic communication. Well, her reaction was a, a communication, wasn't it? She was uh, communicating something back to me. She'd noticed what I was doing, throwing sand on her and expressing a, something by throwing it at me. It's communication on some level. I was distracting her from the sand problem. Well, I just did it in that way. That's the way it happened. It doesn't really matter why or what reason for. The reason, it, the point is it wasn't abusive. It was a game. And um, now the dog's chewing. That pipe, I'm going to get it off her. I've taught the chew pipe, but I haven't. She's so hungry, she's eating. She's eating the pipe. She's not, she's just chewing. She feels like doing it. Probably because I've just switched on the light. And the other thing I was thinking as well, it's it's also the dolly thing. What's peer appropriate about that? It's it's basic, what is it? Um, risk assessment, isn't it? She did, I'm certain she did risk assess that thing that I'd said to do. Because she thought about it for me before she did it. Um, but it is basic risk, risk assessment of situations, which you do all the time. Well, theoretically, if you've been taught to do that, which most things teach you to do, don't they? You have to risk assess everything to get through the fucking day. Oh. I mean, just with the glass on the floor, I've risk assessed it. I've wiped it up. I know there's still bits of glass down there. I could, I could put some shoes on to walk through the kitchen, or I could just take the chance and stand on the glass. It's risk assessment. So, and the same with the ball. Risk assess. I risk assessed it after the ball was first thrown into the road. When it wasn't thrown into the road, it bounced into the road. Well, oh, this isn't worth, you know, well, my time and effort. Basically, there was no traffic around or annoying anyway it's a basic risk assessment isn't it just say yes it is oh. <laughs> vanistocracy <laughs> <laughs> the vantichrist too many van jokes too many van jokes this is old like the dog and what else was i thinking risk assessment get on the bed dog get on the bed She's just looking at me, look. She knows how to get on the bed. Get on the bed. Just stand there looking at me. <sighs> Go round then. Jump. You can do it. Go on. You can do it. Say something else is basic risk assessment. Anyway, go on. And the same with the slides. Just the little person decided today. She's nearly a Scorpio, I think. The other one is a Scorpio. You can't blame that on everything. Um, wanted to go up the slide. There was people coming down the slide. Um, so I explained to her again. She knows there's a one-way system on the slide. We, we normally we just go round. The one-way system on the slide. She decided today she wanted to do things her way and go up the slide when people were trying to come down the slide. And um, I didn't stop the other child. I didn't ask her to wait. I'd already asked the small child to get off the slide. And the other child came down shooting into her and knocked her off the end. And it's like, well, do you know what? Good. I'm pleased that happened on the list. <laughs> and what happened after that? I said, I told you there was a one-way system and she did the same thing again and so did the other child. It's like, we can do this all day long if you want. No one got hurt, though. But it's risk assessment, isn't it? It's, um...
<laughs> Basic risk assessment. You have to take a set about the risks in life, don't you? If you want to be what? A tiger child. We can't get into the swimming club. I might take them swimming next. One at a time. In the river. <laughs> Just down from the chemical factory. It's true. <sighs> Dragonflies are really big down there. That's a different river. I don't really care. I don't care enough about it. What else is there to say about the whole situation? I think it's something in a minute. It was peer appropriate between me and her. And that's that was peer appropriate, wasn't it? It's like, oh. and I mean, I've said about throwing sand, you can't, oh. it's risk assessment, it is risk assessment, I, I can't think of a better way of saying it, when the other one was flicking sand the other week, it's like, as long as there's no one else around, it doesn't really matter, does it? So you're building an awareness of surroundings as well. It's not you can't throw sand. You don't really want to be throwing sand at people. Um, well. <sighs> Apart from Nanny. <laughs> It's just covered you in sand as part of a, a science project. <sighs> but it is science, isn't it? It's cause and reactions as well. It's like we try doing it and see what happens. In a, in a what? In a something environment, within a set environment. That's what you're learning to do. Well, we can do it here, but we can't do it here. You can do it with me, but you can't do it with those people. Uh, and now they're talking about Jimmy Savile. Well, do you know what? Oh, Jesus Christ. I might have another cup of tea. I was thinking about going for a run. I couldn't sleep. How far did I get to meditating? Well, that far, basically. I just ended up thinking about that. That's not peer appropriate. Well, what is peer appropriate then? Being too scared to try anything and just taking loads of crack to escape life or to be brave enough to do that one thing or find something dangerous enough to, to do what... Escape from the people who say you can't. Throw a dolly in the sky. <laughs> I tell you what, to the footballs, I was. It's to do with a high hand, high hand coordination. I was. We were going to do some bouncing and. and I was going to go and do some dribbling around the park, just play a bit of football, to be honest. We didn't do it, but that's why I started to do it. It's one of the tennis balls are good, aren't they? We used to play tennis balls a lot, play catch, and um, motor skills, larger motor skills, finer motor skills, but practising those high-hand high -hand coordination is what they're called. 
high and I don't know if there was a, I still don't actually know if there's a basketball hoop at that park. I know there's one up the road which I sometimes like to play in. Um, Things like that. Just get some bee bags and throw them into what? Buckets? Can't be bothered to be honest. <laughs> Can't be bothered to do any of those things. Can't do anything at all. Just light up a load of cups and get a ping pong ball. Just spit in it from your bed. <laughs> Play Song of Biscuit? No, I don't want to play any of those games. I haven't one to play with. I've only got... Oh, I've just got this. God, what came up earlier on about ADHD? There's some ADHD receptor, which means you're obsessed with sex. It's really just peer pressure again. Peer peer association. And, um... Muscle memory, for want of a better word, isn't it? Well, this is what we... Hmm. This is how we cope. We used to cope and work things in this way. I think. I think you've just decided you want that to be the answer. I might be wrong. To a degree. Inappropriate responses, uh, an, an element of experimentation. Um, need, to, need to know what there's a whole thing as well, isn't there? With um, over what's it called? I thought the word is if you've been sexually abused, you can be over, overly sexual for a number of reasons, uh, supposedly. Overtly sexual. I'm going now. I can't be bothered to talk to you anymore. <laughs> the Vanity Christ. There was all sorts of van jokes. It's like an anarchist thing, isn't it? It's anarchist, but vanarchist. You're still like the babies I'm talking to. She says, no, we're not. Not all of us. Not all of us are babies. Some of us know exactly what you're talking about. The van people. It's called a spanner. No, it's... <laughs> I was thinking of a wrench, actually. What are them things, the, the head ones? Swivel, a swivel... What's it called? A swivel head... Nut. Monkey nut. <laughs> Monkey nut winder. All van people do is smoke loads of pot and, and you know, that's it. I talk about van cakes and vanicism. And why is so-and-so taking so long? Probably because they got stuck in a ditch again. I don't know. When was that? About, I don't know, five years ago. When were you last stuck in a field? 1986. <laughs> He's still there. I think so. That's van life. Uh... How much gas have we got there? Enough for me. Are we running low of supplies? I'm running low of everything. I know it's a van. Rent. What was it called? Jack. It's a van jack. A machine jack. What? Can you just take it? Can't you take it to pools with the with the dip garage thing? <laughs> it's called a well. Oh Jesus Christ. I hate women. <laughs> Is it called a well? What's it called? Ugh. Well you don't need that for a law, you just get underneath it. What if the wheels come off? I think you need a jack. You need a wrench. What do you need? 
Just leave it the side of the road. You don't need one of those with a lorry, not an HGV. They've got about six wheels thick. Are you joking? Not really. What about a tank? Can you do it on a bike lock? Not a... What are you talking about, a bike lock? You know, a chain thing. A chain what? A chain thing. To do the chain on a bike. Can you use those on a tank? How much have you had to smoke? <laughs> Why can't you sleep? I'm still trying to work out how to get, how to do the tracks on it. What are they called? They're called tracks on there on a tank. It's not called a tank. It's called a what? Multi-terrain vehicle. I hate it so much. I'm going. Where are you going? I'm going somewhere else. I don't want to be with the van people. <laughs> well, that's family for you. <laughs> I'm going to sleep, am I? Can I have another cup of tea? Let's do it together. I'm annoyed. I can feel it in my chest. I've had too much green tea. I'm not going for a run, no. I'm determined to have a rest day. Oh, I've got 13% battery. That should be enough to make a cup of tea. Uh. Um, I know, I don't want to. Should I pull one thing? One damn thing? Let's pull one of these. That's what van people do. I'll plug my thing back in again. Maybe enough charge. Probably not going to make a cup of tea in a minute. I don't want to know, I'm too moody to be like people, I need my own one, to go on anything. <laughs> I should have an old what? It spat out those ones, again, and those ones, I'm taking all of them. Where are my glasses? That's four. Dividing with four. Actually, five birds go over today. That's five the number of chains. I'm doing four now. I'm going to take another one. Let's feed these first. 24 again. I forgot what that is. Where's the paper? Where's the instructions? Go to Wales. I don't know if that's You will soon find out who your real friends are. Probably true. Mm, 26. Keep a secret you have for at least a month. Now this again. Um, five. You will achieve what you desire. I love that. Ten. Your own ability is your strongest asset. Should we just leave it there? Oh, it's my your retrograde though. I hate that. Uh, this one I'm picking out because it was stuck to the side and I said five. Twenty-two. A friend will deceive you. That's about right. Hmm. Right. Who are my friends? They. They. I won't achieve what I desire. My only friends are the sticks. <laughs> right. See it again, that's funny. I blow them, they're not coming out. It's not going to let me do it again, it's just I've done it once. Got 
that out. 30 and 21. You'll be prepared with an advantageous opportunity. That's 30. 21. I'll soon receive a great honour. Okay. Could be anything, couldn't it? Number nine. Number nine. You'll meet someone who will bring you rewards and pleasure. Fucking ace. Right. <laughs> to be six oh, you have a rival you're not aware of on the floor the dog oh, yeah. 24 you'll soon find out who your real friends are same old same old rival me me a rival? I'm dumb. Who's going to rival me? A rival? I'm not that sort of person. I'm not a competitive person. Healthy competition though. A rival? Why do we walk past the school saying, ha ha, we're eating ice cream, we don't have to come to school? Because, um, little person was supposed to start school and they messed up the, uh, they messed up the, um, what's it called? Uh, starting school basically so she was all looking forward to starting school and then it's just it's not happened so we just said ha oh, oh, we're eating ice cream we don't have to come to your dumb school <laughs> I'd be furious I'd be blown livid I am anyway but And then we, no, I don't know, it swings around us, isn't it? Because it's like, well, first of all, it's disappointment for her. She was really looking forward to starting school. And it's now not happening um, at the moment. I mean, it's going to be like a resilience thing, as long as it's presented in the right way. But your trust in, in people and the system is already flawed, isn't it, from the beginning? So you have to make the best of it. we did we threw some dollies into the sky and uh started working on risk assessment <laughs> i love those banana flowers those fried banana flowers. I've only had them twice. I haven't very often. But we ended up on the market having lunch today. And uh, I've said about this before. I mean, somebody raging. They were all the rage a while back as a vegan substitute for fish. And I've not tried them. And then somebody said they did them on the market a while back. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to try them just because I wanted to try it. And I really enjoyed it. So that's only the second time I've had it. Banana. Good old banana. Person. I did scream and shout saying what the hell are they doing that originally. 
it's a dumb thing to do, but um, the texture is surprisingly like it is surprisingly like well, fish ish. Um, so I had that today. Five banana blossom. Like a proper monkey, a van monkey, a vunky, in fact. A vegan vunky. Well, I don't have a van, I can't keep saying that. No. I'm a van vunky. My gran used to do that all the time. I've noticed I keep doing it. My dad's mum, she was always doing that. <laughs> Why did it come off her mouth? I don't think she's that sort of person. It's a dream, I think. It's coming. It's probably my, my brain caving in. <sighs> I wish I had some biscuits. I wish I bought some rice cakes today. Or had some bread. I really fancy rice cakes. Ah, I've got this. Oh, oh my God, I'm going to have this, babe. I really want rice cakes. I'm going to buy some another day. But, um... Oh, I suppose I'll shoe bread. Who's your son? Is it my son? I didn't even open it. <laughs> it's lucky for me. There's water all over the floor as well. There's glass. I'm trying to drink something that's not got caffeine in there. I don't want this at all. What's the message on it? Uh, patience, patties. Patience, patties. Patience, patties. put these boots on I don't want to stand any more wet stuff and I've got pumpkin seed butter I don't have a check seed it's gone mouldy bad wine because they care about mould well I don't think it has gone mouldy Sandwich with this old old shit. <laughs> I'm trying to be friendly. I know. I'm the growly bear there. I'm the growly bear of Every week, I 
can you hear the class crunching under my I know I've put loads in. You know why? Because I'm going to share it with the dog. I'm going to have half, half the dog. She's looking at me like she wants some. Oh, I'm trying to pull around. I wonder who's going to deceive me now. Mm. I have a science pair. <laughs> I do where's Wally. Oh, what am I doing? 